Hi there. In this video, we'll learn about the limits and continuity of a function. Let us begin with this concept of limit. We already know that the meaning of a limit is simply something that can extend to a certain level but cannot surpass that level, as we have mentioned it here. So that is a certain point beyond which a certain phenomenon cannot grow. We can better understand it with the help of this example. As you can see, we have uh, taken a function where y is a function of x and this is the exact value of the function. Now, if we plot this graph, it will look something like this. Uh, on x-axis, we have the independent variable, which is x and on y-axis, we have the dependent variable, which is y. We can see that there is a, a straight line but this is a certain uh, uh, shape and that is a hollow circle. It means that at this point, no common point exists. It means there's a hollow circle and Y and X doesn't have any relationship here. After it, there is a relationship. This is why we have a set of points joining which we have got this line. And before this hollow circle, we have uh, some points that we have joined to get this part of the line. So they are showing the locus of the points or the root of the points. But here there is no point. And the reason is very simple because when x is equal to 2, y will not have a defined value. As you can see, if I put x is equal to 2 here, there will be 2 minus 2, 0 in the denominator, which will make y undefined. This is why when x is equal to 2, we can extend this to this level and here the value of y will not be 4. It will not exist because this is not showing any point here. It is a hollow circle having no coincidence of y and x values. So for this value that is x is equal to 2, we have a limit that is the value cannot surpass this level and it cannot uh, get to this point no matter we right, uh, start from the right of the point or the left of the point. So there we are, have this uh, explanation in the form of these values. Y is undefined when x is equal to 2. In other words, this is the corrected version of it. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to infinity. And we can visualize this with the help of this table because when we have various values of x starting from 1.9 and reaching close to 2 and then surpassing the value of 2, we will have various values of the function of x. And here you can see the values approaching towards 4, but at 4 it is undefined and afterwards it is having some values. Just like we saw here at 4 there was no value. Before it there were values and after it there were values. So this was the table of it after the diagram. Now this is another depiction of a, a situation that we have seen that this is a hollow circle showing that there is no existence of any value of y or it is uh, undefined at this level. Now the matter comes that how we read this. We have uh, uh, this notation limit. We use lim for it and it shows the symbol of the independent variable and it shows this arrow and that uh, the to the right hand side of this arrow we have the value of x that we use so we do not write equal sign here because this is the concept of limit and in this uh, uh, situation the value can go through various values and it can try to get close to a but will not be equal to a now uh, f of x and we are going to find it out and there will be a certain answer of it that we will do numerically as well. So f of x is basically a function and uh, y value will be getting close to some point and that will be represented for uh, as its answer and in this case we are using symbol l for it. So the value of y that will be reached close to definitely will not be able to achieve it but it will get close to that and this is the explanation of this uh, subscript now we take this numerical example uh, the same thing is being done numerically 
uh, if we straight away put x is equal to 2 the answer will become undefined so in the limits we can use these um, uh, various possibilities of uh, factorization in the numerator we have done the factorization after putting these values uh, x minus 2 can be cancelled out and we'll be left with x plus 2 so bringing the limit into action x is equal to 2 uh, x approaches to 2 and when we put it here it will be 2 plus 2 and it will be equal to 4 so it is not undefined because if we substitute x is equal to 2 here the answer will be undefined but using limits we can solve it and we will get a defined answer which in this case is 4 so this is the result of it and uh, let's do some further examples with the help of diagrams that how in the diagram things will look we have a basically a graph which is known as the asymptotes and you can see on the left hand side of the x-axis and on the right hand side or the y-axis uh, 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 as a matter of correction we have two curves one is like this and the other is like that we're focusing on this one and here the value of x is minus 4 as you can see the small value is minus 4 this is to the left side of y-axis so when we put this in this certain function the answer will be equal to 2 and uh, here we can see that 2 is here 2 is not here this is where it is 1 because on x-axis you can see on y-axis this is having these values with these differences so uh, the red line basically is showing the negative possibilities and here we have the possibilities which are um, showing the increase instead of decrease because here you can see the value is increasing and here the value is decreasing so we use minus here and plus here and finally we have uh, this notation and this will be the answer now we come to another possibility one thing that we want to note here is that it is having a common point and this point is of convergence because the two segments of the curve are converging here or at least trying to converge here if we assume that this is a hollow circle now if we take another function in this case the function is f of x is equal to 3 if we put um, 3 uh, here and here you will see that we are using negative sign because it is the left of the curve and here we are using a positive sign in the superscript and that is on the right hand side of this point so here you can see this is that point and if we consider this side it is here so they are not occurring at the same point because if they occur at the same point it will be convergence and here it is not happening so it means that in this case the continuity is not there which was here present here it is not present and you can see that there is a certain gap the continuity or the common point is not there now consider these uh, two examples as well very similar to the first example and here you can see that uh, this is the uh, negative dimension this is the positive dimension so uh, again we can see that this is if this is the common point then we can say that there is continuity in this function and here we can see that this is a common point actually which is uh, undisputed and we can see from the right and from the left it is coming to the same point so this is having continuity so the continuity is a desired situation if we want to do the differential calculus on a function or find its derivative here we have an example of uh, this certain function as you can see here we are going to use x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5 with a positive and a negative uh, substitution primarily we use 5 with a positive sign and when we solve it we get an indeterminate answer we can pause the video and try to solve this and then we have limits that is it is approaching to minus 3 in this case again the answer will be indeterminate the solutions of these are not given in this video because our focus is not to solve the 
economic functions with the help of limits instead we will be solving them with the help of derivatives so uh, one numerical example was solved as you can see here and we are not solving the uh, further examples we have chosen x approaches to 5 x approaches to minus t now we will experiment with the other two possibilities which are coming with opposite signs that is x is equal to 3 x approaches to 3 and x approaches to minus 5 and when we use these limits the answer will be determinate and in both of these cases the answer is there so with the value of 3 and 5 with opposite signs we experimented and saw that with 3 and minus 5 the answer is determinate so this is how the continuity of a function can be found and if a function is continuous then we can find its derivative as well if it is not continuous then it is known as discontinuous and we cannot find the derivative of such a function these are some graphical examples that we understood and furthermore before these graphical examples we have the numerical example and before that its diagrammatical depiction how we understand this symbol of limits and apply it and then a table that we uh, depicted in the form of a graph before and this was the first example that we started with so this is the concept of limits and continuity which can help us to find out that which one of the functions is differentiable thank you